Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey folks. Hi everyone, welcome back to our Sunday video. Uh, we were trying to figure out when to do this video and we didn't have much time, so we decided to do it on the way to- On the fly. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the road right now. We wanted to do the Sunday video. We didn't want to miss another week. Sorry, last week's wasn't up, but um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing it here. Hopefully it sounds good, it looks good. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first one is from Vert911. And Vert says, Santo, you talk about buying right, but I hope you will not tell everyone who purchased a property in 2020, 2021, and 2022 that they didn't buy it right. If and when in the near future there is a big economic shift that leads to additional price decline on top of what we've already seen. I would never tell all those people that they didn't buy right, those people that bought in those years. And, the, the you know, there's some people that didn't buy right and, and they just overpaid. But the issue with the video that we did for where that question came from is because they bought, bought high in a high market and then tried to sell relatively soon where prices didn't appreciate mm -hmm. enough yet or, or appreciate at all in some cases and that's where people are seeing the losses so as long as you know the, you're prepared to hold on to the property there's tons and tons of people out there that could have made mistakes in, in how they purchased but time makes them smart you know time I, fixes all these things i think when it comes to to, to buying right like we, we made the example in the video itself about, you know, it, it's about what makes sense for that time. Yep. Right. It's not necessarily about, you know, did people overpay? We know people overpaid and we know, you know, if you look at prices from 2017, 2018, 2016, 2015, and then you look at them now, you can look at everyone and say they overpaid, but it's about what made sense at the time. Absolutely. And going to that particular video, that was the one where there was a big loss, a huge seven loss. figure loss. And, um, you know, that at the time, even at the time when prices were at their highest, that still didn't make sense. Right. Absolutely. You know, with buyers often, you know, we start the home search process. We're looking at properties and some of them will say, I don't know if, if we should buy this now. What if, in the next six months, prices come down. And, and my response is often, the market's gonna go up and down, but you're buying this house for you to live in. You're, you're gonna be here for the next five, 10 years. What difference, what happens? What, what does it matter what happens mm -hmm. next month or in two years? Over time, we're all pretty confident prices are gonna be higher than what they are today. But in the next, in the short term, yeah, they can go up and down. Don't sweat it if the plan is to stay in your home for multiple years. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, next question here comes from Ron English. And Ron English says, waste of time. What is a waste of time? I, I guess our videos. But he says, you talk in riddles. Names, municipal addresses of properties would add credibility to this video, your stories. I can't do that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not going to divulge names of people that I'm having, you know, conversations with. I'm not going to divulge addresses. Uh, there's there's a privacy to all this. Appreciate that I'm giving you situations that maybe can help you to make better decisions, but I'm not going to divulge personal information. You're just not going to get it from me. You know, we've actually seen there's uh, there's been some realtors online that uh, that have done that. And you know, when they talk about, uh, you know, losses, they're giving the address, they're giving the names and stuff like that. And they end up actually getting in trouble. So it's, it's not worth it. The whole point is, you know, we're telling you these things that happen all the time, very often. And we're telling you that so that you can learn from that. And, you know, you can know what to expect, know what to look for, stuff like that, right? Exactly, knowing the exact property, the name of the homeowner, their shoe size, yeah. it's not going to make a difference. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the next question comes from 
opinionated 363. Okay. What's their opinion? <laughs> and they said, what about sellers renovate, move windows, walls, stairs, etc., without a permit? Buyers are not aware. Is this a problem for the buyers? My neighbors did this, then sold the house. New buyers were not aware. Are there repercussions if all was done correctly, but no permit? Can this be a problem? Yes and no, it can be a problem and it may not be a problem. You know, part of the the buying process, the the buyer's agent can be, it, it's easy to see if a home's had renovations done. It's pretty straightforward to see if a wall's been removed and the buyer's agent can easily go online and see, have permits been pulled for this kind of work? And when you start talking about walls being moved, you know there's some engineering questions going on. You know there's some electrical things going on that were changed. Then you ask the right questions and you, you find out the information up front. Now, if permits have not been pulled, that just means you need to be a little bit more careful. You need to be a little bit more diligent in your home inspection. You need to ask the right questions and you need to you know, be aware that these things are happening. It's tons of homes that get sold or tons of homes that get renovated properly. The homeowner didn't pull a permit. I think a big example of that. Is I don't that. think my, <laughs> my father or grandfather know what a permit is. <laughs> they definitely know what the work is though. <laughs> they know how to do the work, but they don't, they don't know what a permit is. Yeah. And I mean, just a, a pretty widespread example of that is the basement apartments, right? <laughs> Most basement apartments are illegal. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean the work hasn't been done properly, but it could mean it never did get done properly. You yeah. don't know. You really need to be careful. And, and the, the problem lies when the seller says it was done like this and it was done like that and according to code and the buyer just accepts it and then it wasn't. So yeah, there are repercussions from that because the seller, I'm assuming all this would be in the offer that the seller, you know, promises and, mm -hmm. and guarantees that the work was done according to code. And if it was, you should have proof. There should be permits. There could be warranties. There could be bills of sales. There's ways of protecting the buyer than just accepting it. Mm -hmm. So next comment here comes from Lisa Kong 4104. And they say, how do you know if your condo is blacklisted? That's a good question. Lisa, there is no list that you could just go look up. And the, the way I find out is I speak to my mortgage person and I say, Anthony, his name is Anthony. He used to be doing a regular show on Fridays on this channel. Anthony from In Touch Mortgage Solutions. I call him up and I say, hey, I have a client looking at this condo price seems too good to be true. Is it blacklisted? And I ask him straight and he does his research and he checks with C C C CMHC. CMHC and, um, and, and other, and, and it's with some of the banks and so forth. And will tell me, yes, it's back blacklisted or no, it's not. So he, he, you really got to be in touch with a mortgage person that could let you know that there is no list that you can pull up somewhere. No public list, that's for sure. No pub public list, yeah. Yes. So next question or next question here comes from Deezed150. Deezed. And they say, Santos. <laughs> what? <laughs> they call me Santos. I don't know. I guess they don't watch the video where guys, we constantly repeat that. There's Santos. no S at the end of my name. <laughs> anyway. Guys, guys, <laughs> folks. So Santos, what would you guess educated is the price range of properties that have offer night? The majority, I was about to answer that and, and I'm thinking to examples that I see out there. There is no, look, there is no price limit on which homes could have offer nights. We've seen $3 million, $4 million homes that have an offer night. However, the majority of homes, if I can answer the question, I guess more, more specifically, it's in the, the lower the lower price point. Now it depends on the neighborhood. Some neighborhoods, 1.8, not 1.9, 2.1 is the average for that neighborhood. And you're gonna see a lot of those with 
offer nights and then other neighborhoods that don't see these two million dollar properties so often it's the the lower the entry level price point 900 to 1.3 1.4 1.5 even will have offer nights and um yeah they they often will get a, a good showing although that's starting to calm down a bit now um okay so next comment here comes from walter pen 371 and they say to upgrade to a hundred amp panel a uh, panel is minimal these days and best make it to 200 amp for the future this info was given to me by a number of people this cost will be around five thousand for a hundred amps more important for upgrading is that home insurance policies are getting very strict and won't cover your you for an old fuse box I'm lucky on getting by a circuit amp breaker box. I tried switching to different insurance companies and they all denied me until I replaced to a hundred amp panel minimum. Thank you for Santo for your honesty. It's true. If you're going to upgrade your panel, go right to 200. Um, and I would suggest roughing in a bunch of stuff, even though you're not going to use it for if you have no use for it now, for example, EV chargers, mm -hmm. rough it in. You don't have to put the full charger especially if you're not planning to buy uh, an electric vehicle right now. Even if you think I might buy one in two years, three years, four years, who knows what the technology is going to be there, uh, be then. But if you rough it in, you got the option of just switching out or putting in the proper plug when it's time. So um, rough in the EV. If you think you might have a basement apartment or put a, another little kitchenette or a bar or whatever, rough in the electricity, even though you're not going to use it. Um, but yeah, I would go to 200 as long as you have the option to do that. And you're right about insurances, uh, the old fuses and, and elect, uh, aluminum wiring and um, just anything old electrical. Insurance companies really frown upon it. And a lot of them are starting to push back and say, we're not even going to insure you if you don't update this within a, a, a short time period. Mm -hmm. Okay, next comment here is from Kashif Chowdhury. Hope I pronounced that right. And they say, whoever are watching without subscribing are the real estate agents. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want us to catch their names. See, real estate agents will often, because they all want to advertise their name, on their handles, their Instagram handles, their their their, their YouTube TikTok, handle, yeah, YouTube, too, yeah. they use their real names because they want people to yeah. to know who they are, and so so maybe some of them that are watching are not subscribing even though they're watching. I have no problem with with realtors yeah. getting information from their site, especially newer realtors, and we've spoken to a lot of mm. senior type realtors that. They can't get the data that I supply nowhere else. They'll make up their own opinion as to how they interpret the numbers, as many of you will also that are not realtors. But those are the numbers. And, you know, where else are you going to get that data? But we've had also conversations with so many great realtors that uh, that watch our channel and tell us they watch and have subscribed and stuff like that. I've had and, some realtors uh, say, ah, I send your video to my clients. <laughs> yeah, those, that's always an interesting one. But you know what? <laughs> We're just glad it helps. And uh, and the more information that can be out there, the better. Absolutely. Right? Okay, and I saved this comment for last year. Uh, and I think, every time he no, says that, is, I'm wondering, this, oh, this is, this what is do is we a good expect? One. This is a good one. So this okay. is from, this is from a, a, a special friend of ours, okay? And I mean that, I really mean that sincerely. So this is from Maggie McCaskill. Hi, Maggie. Maggie, do you remember Maggie and Matthew? Matthew, yes. So for those of you that might not know. They won the tickets to one of the hockey game yes, events that they we were, had. They were one of the winners that came with us to a Leaf game. We did it back in October and we had given away a whole bunch of tickets and they were one of the uh, one of the pairs that came. Her son Matthew is my biggest fan, and he well, is our biggest fan. He is truly one of the greatest, funniest kids, and he has such a bright future ahead of him because he studies our videos, so he can learn about I just the real estate market. One beef with Matthew. What? It's that the 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 homes that we show, like at the end, the oh, homes are trying that's, to sell. That's right. 
he hopes we don't sell them because he likes looking at them. Oh, that's like a nice home. I hope videos. they don't sell it. Oh, says. man. Oh, yeah. That was uh, Matthew. Is uh, Matthew, if you're watching this, hi. Um, hey, Matthew. It was so much fun. It's so much fun meeting you. And uh, and hopefully we can do that again. I'm sure we will do that again. So was there a comment? There is a comment. We here. just started just, talking I about Matthew. To say, I just I had to say how great Matthew is because he's truly an awesome, awesome kid. But uh, so Maggie says here. Great content as always. My son Matthew came up behind me when I was watching and said, Ahem. and he's so affronted. I tried to watch one of your videos without him. He's upset. Ma- I should upset, know better. You upset Matthew, Maggie. <laughs> he says, I should know better. Yes, Matthew is. Uh, Matthew needs to be watching these videos. He's, Absolutely. He's learning quite a bit. And it's funny because, like, you know, you talk to a lot of kids and they're talking about, like, uh, like, in toys. grade school yeah in grade school matthew's going to be the most edu- he's going to be able to tell his teachers yeah. about real estate That's, that is for, for sure. sure that is for sure but anyways we'll leave it off there that's it for today thank you guys for uh for watching our our our, our bootleg setup here we have an appointment to get to <laughs> yeah. have an awesome weekend everybody we'll talk to you soon thanks bye-bye